back to Sway Vlogs. It's your boy Sway coming at you again with another episode where we compare the lifestyle of the U.S. and Spain from an American's point of view, living in this beautiful country. And if that interests you and you want to learn more about the life comparisons, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified when I drop the latest and the greatest. And on today's episode, you guys, we're going to be talking about the comparisons of working in the U.S. to working in Spain. Now, I've talked to you in other videos about the pros and cons of working in Spain and the, you know, getting a job here in Spain and everything, but I'm actually going to talk to you guys about the experiences of holding a job here in Spain and having a job here in Spain to the experiences based off what I used to uh, work in the U.S. Now, I've heard a lot of people give me a lot of stories, you know, bad stories about the U.S., you know, and the, the bad environments they had where they worked or bad co-workers or bad bosses or employees or uh, just in general, you know. But I've also had really good experiences from people telling me that, you know, they had, they had good experiences in the U.S. And the same goes to here in Spain. But I'm not focusing on those people. I'm focusing on my own point of view and my experiences in the U.S. to my experience here in Spain. Now, I've told you countless of times in other videos, Spain is not the land of opportunity. It's like you're going to come here and you're going to find a job just in the snap of the finger. You're going to be like, oh, I got a job I can choose from. No, it's going to take some time. So I also always tell you guys, do your research before moving to Spain and have a job secured before moving to Spain. Now, the U.S. will forever be the land of opportunity because I've held countless of jobs, jobs that I didn't even have experience for. I've held those jobs just because I uh, had experience, you know, in other things kind of, kind of was similar to the job and that's where I got the job. For example, before I started working at the bank, I was actually working at a workshop. But be since I had experience uh, before, because I used to work at McDonald's retail and I used to do door to door and did landscaping and did roofing, and you, you name it, I did it in the US. So I had experience in those different things. And so when I got hired at the bank, they asked me if I was bilingual. They've had asked me if I had cash handling experience. They also asked me if I had any customer service experience. And I said, yes, I have all that experience. I didn't have a title to prove that I worked, you know, that I did banking or that I studied banking or finances or anything like that. But because of that experience, they hired me and I worked on the bank. Now, this is the great mentality. This is one of the things I love about the US that I hate about Spain is the fact that if you uh, if you join a job in any can any kind of work or any kind of company, you can move up the ladder. If you show, you know, that you have the the, the guts to come out there and, and, and give you 100% or even more on the job and you do your bosses, you know, what they ask you to do and you follow the rules and you, you do everything according to the uh, company policies, you probably will move up in the ladder. I started as a bank teller in the bank and then I, then I, from the bank teller, I moved over to a banker. And then from a banker, you know, moved over to, you know, assistant supervisor. And it's just like, yeah, you can keep moving up on the ladder until you get to, you know, wherever you want to be at. You can also stay where you want to be or you can keep moving up. It depends on what company you're working for and et cetera. Here in Spain, scratch that off your mind. You will never, ever, ever, ever move up in the ladder. There is no such a thing as a ladder here in Spain. I've told you guys in countless other videos that if you have the title to prove for that position, then you will get that position. And once you get that position, hold on to that position for dear life because you will be working that position for the rest of your working life. No joke. I have a, I have a, a gentleman who I know here who's a friend of us, who's a friend of the family, who's been working as a forklifter. Okay, get, get this. He's been working as a forklifter for 30 somewhat years, right? 30 someone years in do, dealing with heavy machinery and I've asked him have you had the you know the ability to move up to become a boss you know of the other people and he said no because I don't have the title for it I only have the title to you know of heavy machinery and stuff like that and that's all I can do and I said but you know you've had so many so many years of experience and so many years in the company I, by now for sure the company would have seen that you you know your all your effort and, and everything you put into it that they're gonna give you a higher position and he said no that's not how things work here in Spain and I was like, my man, 30 years doing the same exact thing. Like, doesn't that bore you? That would bore the hell out of me doing the same thing over and over for 30 years. And you see, I met a lady back in the States who worked for over 20 some years, almost close to 35 years in, uh, in a bank. But you see, when I asked her, don't you get bored of doing the same thing? And she goes, no, sway. I've done everything you can think of in the bank except be the CEO or the, or the VP, that's it. I've done district manager, you know, uh, internal affairs of the banker, manager, regional president, I've done all that kind of stuff. And I just decided that after trying everything, I was just gonna settle down and be a bank teller for the rest of my career. 
And I said, well, that's great. You held all those positions. And he goes, yeah, I had all that positions and I had all that experience. That is never going to happen here in Spain. And that's why I keep telling you guys over and over, do your research before moving to Spain. Find out what kind of job you want to do in Spain and also find out if that job is a long-term job. And what I mean by that, make sure that they give you an indefinite contract, an indefinite contract, meaning that if they fire you, they have to pay you. They have to pay you unemployment. And however many years you work, they have to pay you a, a like a compensation for those years that you work and that they broke the contract with you. And I'll get on that in another video. I'm gonna explain to you guys how the contracts work here in Spain and stuff. But if you quit, you won't get an appointment and some of these companies will push you and pressure you and pressure you so much to the point where they put you under the thumb to make you quit and you, all you have to do is be like you know what i quit and once you quit they're like oh i quit you quit well there's no unemployment for you because you quit so you guys i'm going to say it life like comparisons like work comparisons between the us and spain the us is here spain is here like no joke Yes, lifestyle was way up here and maybe the US needs to catch in some catching up to do. But when it comes to work lifestyle, like work experience, work related, like, you know, everything in, in, in compared to the US to Spain, the US by far beats Spain. Like you might be like, you know, pissed off at your job and you might be already tired of your nine to five job or, or whatever kind of hours you got. And you're probably like thinking, my man, I overworked myself and there's no point to it. But believe me, I don't know how you work in your company, but from my experiences, I've always find a, figured out a way to move up in the ladder and gain more money and, and get more stuff. Oh, also another thing, I'll tell you guys in other videos, there's no such thing as overtime here in Spain. They will not pay you for overtime. You know what the you know what the, the sad story is though about that? That some companies do exploit you and they do make you work extra hours, but they don't pay you. And, and they use the excuse of like, oh, you didn't finish this task, so you have to finish it outside of work hours. Or, you know, before you leave, you have to finish this. But you're like, I have to clock out at four. Yeah, yeah, but you have to finish this before the next person comes in or else or else it's their problem and it affects their productivity and blah, blah, blah. And you have to see those extra hours and they don't pay those extra hours. And I'm telling you by experience because sadly it's happened to people that I know where they they, didn't, they have to clock out at four and then they I'm like, I'm like calling them like, hey, what's up? You know, we're going to get on play, you know, PlayStation or whatever together. And he's like, no, nah, bro, I'm still you know i'm still on calls or whatever and, and it's like you know it's already six o'clock and he's still working it's almost seven o'clock he's still working and i'm like oh you're gonna get paid extra right and he's like no, no that's not how it works here in spain so there's no such thing as overtime so get that through your head if you if you have that overtime mentality in the u.s that stays in the u.s you will not find that here in spain at all there is no such thing as overtime and some companies unfortunately will exploit you and will make you work extra hours and if you try to stand up against them they're just going to tell you straight up to your face hey if you don't like it you can quit like no joke i've had that experience here in spain my experiences in spain when it comes to working by far has been the worst experience of all my life i love spain the lifestyle is great the, the country is great to visit to explore to enjoy and stuff but when it comes to the work environment when it comes to the work life here in spain it is by far the worst experience i've ever dealt in my life and i've had some bad experiences working in the us when i worked in construction when i worked in in landscaping when i worked in the fields even when i worked in mcdonald's and i had some like really bad experiences nothing compared to the experiences I've had here where they're always pressuring you they're always on your back they're always like trying to like make you feel like you're inferior to them because you are you know an immigrant to their country and stuff and it's just like they, they treat you different and if you don't have a title to prove a certain position they even treat you even different more more different than, than before and it's just like to be honest with you, it is one of the worst experiences of that here living in Spain and it, even you know when I even when I worked at an English academy um they treat you so different like there was so much like animosity in between the like the the the, the staff and then whenever i try to bring new ideas they were like look at your weird they're they're by far they are against change like do not come in and try to change anything because if they've been doing that for the last 20 years they're going to continue doing that for the next 30 or 40 years and if you come in with a fresh new mentality because you know you're, you're thinking about oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that they're, they're not gonna take it in you know happily with like open arms. So you say like, no, 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 you stay with your things and you do the things we tell you to do the way we've been doing it for the last 20 years. For example, if you are a fast paced worker, you like to be doing stuff like, you know, you can't be sitting down one place, you know, just kind of chilling your, your, you know, minding your business. You gotta be like moving up and down and, and doing things kind of like I am. Bro, you are gonna have a hard ass time in Spain because here everything is, even in the work area, everything is chill. 
everything is like laid back. Like people literally like can put their chair backwards and just kind of like kick it, enjoy it. Like I've had people where I used to work before tell me, why are you working so fast? You're making us look bad. And I'm like, I don't know, I just the way I work. You know, I just like doing things and then, you know, fast makes my day go by fast. And he goes, don't do it because if you do it and they see that you're doing it in this, like at this time frame, then they're gonna expect us to do it at the same time frame. And it's gonna make a lot of people mad. You know, it's gonna make a lot of us mad because you're trying to prove that you're, you're better than us. And I'm like, no bro, that, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just, this is just the way I work. This is the way I like doing things. And they're like, well, that's, that's not Spain. That's back in the US, but here in Spain, you take your time, they're paying you by the hour, they're not paying you by the work. And I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, then if you're here for eight hours, work those eight hours and make sure that you extend whatever you're doing for the next eight hours. And I'm like, I can do this task in like an hour, maybe half an hour. And they're like, okay, well now extend that task for another three hours. What? Talk about lazy asses. I'm sorry, like do not take it as an offense, but that, 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 that doesn't roll with me. So, I just, I needed, I needed to tell you guys this because I know a lot of people have been watching my videos and a lot of people have been commenting on my videos like, hey, I wanna move to Spain, I've had it with the US, et cetera, et cetera. And it's awesome, it's great that you wanna to come to, to Spain and I'm sorry that you're having a bad time in the US and stuff, but before you move to Spain, please, by, by all means necessary, I'm asking you, I'm begging you guys, do your research before moving to Spain. Do your thorough research and make sure that it is exactly what you want in life when it comes to moving to Spain. Spain is a great country, it's an amazing country, it's an awesome country to live in, but if you have everything according to what you want, if everything is set up as a domino effect for you and you feel like it's gonna work out for you, then you will have an amazing time living here. But if you don't have the research and you don't do the things you're supposed to do, you're gonna have a hard time here. Like, I'm just gonna lay it out, let's lay it out simple. You're going to have a hard time here. All right, with that being said, you guys, I hope you found today's video informative. I hope you guys liked it. I do have more videos coming up. I've been taking some time because I'll be working on a, on a company. Yes, we are starting a business here in Spain. And I will talk to you guys about that in another video about opening and you know, owning a business here in Spain. And that's another whole different level compared to the US. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description of our Instagram page so you can find us, uh, the the, um, the new business that we're opening. I'm gonna make a video with my wife where we're actually talking about the business and everything and, and all that legal stuff about it and how to go on if you wanna open a business here in Spain. But with that said, you guys, I hope you feel into this video informative, you guys entertaining, I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you share it with your friends, share it with your buddies, your wife, your, you know, whatever, your lover, whatever, your friends. And if they wanna to come to Spain, tell them, hey, do your research, this dude here, Sway, is uh, sharing us his lifestyle and his like his experiences and comparisons and experiences, and uh, check it out. So, you guys, I'm out. Oh.